Hey everyone, my name is Rachel and if you've seen any of my other videos you might know that I studied at the University of Warwick and I've spoken about it in a couple of my other videos one in particular talking about why I chose Warwick out of all the unis in the UK that I could have gone to and I had some really nice feedback on that video and I had loads of people commenting which I really really liked and a lot of people asking questions about Warwick and my experiences there and a few people asking me to make more videos on it so that's what I'm doing today One of the big things that I get asked about quite a lot is how and why I went about changing course at Warwick. So if you have seen any of the videos you might know a little bit about this but I originally started out studying biomedical science so I've spoken in my video about why I chose Warwick and um, that I kind of just ended up falling into biomed uh, without it really feeling right for me and I'll admit now that was like a very big mistake. Even on my first day of my course at Warwick I kind of felt like it wasn't me, biomed wasn't really right for me, I felt really out of place. Right now I'm at a point in my life where I feel very comfortable kind of like with who I am and knowing who I am as well. Like I'm very happy to say that I'm a very creative person, I love to make things, I love to create things, I love to like kind of come up with new ideas for things, whether that's creating photographs, videos, blog posts, writing short stories, even painting. I, I love painting, I'm bad at it but I love it. Um, I love to kind of like create all these things and I love kind of living my life online if that makes sense so I love networking with people and meeting new people there I love sharing ideas, I love learning new things um, and all these things kind of come together now to sort of define who I am and I have this really good understanding of who I am and what I want to do with my life but back then when I was 18 obviously I was very young and I had no idea of any of this and I was very very confused um, I kind of fell into doing a degree that I got told was a proper degree, um, one that people would, would respect and not make fun of, a degree that kind of made everyone else happy but not really me. I mean when I told people that I'd chosen to study biomed and I'd got accepted for all these biomed courses, like everyone was so happy, I mean like my parents were happy, my sister was happy, my brother was happy. Um, my friends didn't really say a lot, I don't think, I don't really remember what their reaction was but everyone was so happy about it and so proud and it was like saying oh Rachel's going on to do biomed, that was really a thing that people were kind of like proud to say whereas if I'd gone to do it maybe the kind of degree that my teachers wanted me to do or maybe that would have felt a bit more right for me like if I'd gone on to do like an English Lit degree or a Media Studies degree I'm not sure people would have said it with the same amount of like pride they would have been like oh she's to do media studies because that's not really respected it's not really thought of as a proper degree looking back I wish I'd listened to my teachers a bit more because when I told them that I'd chosen to do biomed my English lit teachers were like really not not English lit and when I told my media teacher he was like really is that, is that not a waste because you're so good at media and when I told my biology teachers they were just like really? And you know, when you tell your teacher, I'm going on to study your subject, and their response is like, really? That should have probably been a big warning sign. And then when I told my sociology teacher Fletch, who knew me better than all of those teachers put together, um, he didn't really say anything, he just kind of gave me a questioning look, and I think that was when I first started to have doubts, but I sort of pushed them to the back of my mind and ignored them, and I really wish I hadn't. But I did. I think if I'd had any kind of like actual confidence in myself at the time, I would have never chosen to study biomed. But I was constantly trying to be this person that everyone else wanted me to be, or rather trying to be the kind of person that I thought everyone wanted me to be. And ultimately all that did was lead me to a degree that wasn't right for me and that ultimately left me feeling really kind of lost and pretty alone to be honest. Um, I knew it wasn't right for me at all. So throughout that first year of studying biomed, um, I didn't really feel like I fitted in with anyone else on my course. My reason for being there was different to everyone else, I had different goals, I had different interests, um, I even had different like A-levels and things. Um, I just, I didn't really feel like everyone else there. My exam results throughout the year were really up and down, my labs I got some really good results in, but the kind of 
um, bi-weekly tests we did, my results were all over the place from like 10% to 80% to 90% to 20%, it was just, there was no consistency with my marks at all. But the one person that really helped me through it was my personal tutor, Kevin. He was really, really nice. He was basically like a second dad to me throughout that year. He helped me with everything from like understanding bits of chemistry I was struggling with to helping me fix problems I had with my accommodation. He was just like there whenever I needed to chat about anything and I like, even to this day, I can't say how grateful I am for him. He was absolutely fantastic. And he kind of knew throughout the year that I felt kind of like a little bit out of place and a little bit weird and like I wasn't really doing the right thing for me. And I think he got that. And at first he was like, well, why don't you do some business modules in your second and third year? And he pushed for me to be able to do a little bit more than you're normally allowed. Um, but still, they were only saying I could do one business module per year, which was a bit like, mm, I wasn't really sure that was kind of like enough for me. But he tried. And then after I took my first lot of final exams, I was like, this isn't what I want to be doing for the next, like, two years or whatever. And I knew it didn't feel right. So I went to him and I said, I think I want to change course. And he was like, I think that's the right choice for you. Because like he knew me and he, he knew I wasn't happy and it wasn't a like oh yeah you're not doing well on this course get out it was more of a I know you're not as happy as you could be and I fully support you so that was really really nice. He helped me with the first steps of changing, he helped me with like all the paperwork and things and he like gave me sort of like a good recommendation and things to the business school. He helped my transfer be okayed by the like life sciences department because they have to okay it and the business school had to okay it. He put me in touch with a guy at the business school who I went for a meeting with and it was just a kind of like really nice informal chat and he asked me a lot of stuff about why I wanted to change course. He asked me about what my kind of like long-term goals and things were and what I might like to do in the future. He asked me about my interests and what sort of societies and things I'd been involved in whilst I'd been at Warwick that first year and I told him all about Photosalk and things like that. And it was just, it was a nice informal chat and at the end of it he was like, I'm completely happy for you to change the business and um, he okayed it at that end. And it was literally as simple as that, like in a matter of weeks I'd changed course and it was the best thing I could have done. It was really really scary and it was a huge change and I was worried that I would feel like I was letting people down, like I was absolutely terrified to tell my parents but they ended up being absolutely fine with it and really really supportive and amazing and yeah they were they were really really nice about it. I was really worried they'd kind of feel disappointed in me but I don't think they did because um, ultimately in the end I got a better degree out of it and I got more actual useful skills. So that's, that's the basic of how and why I changed course. There's a lot more I could talk about in terms of what it was actually like for me being a second year coming into a first year business course because that was a little bit weird and, and disorienting and I felt a little out of place at first and um, it was very bizarre but I think I will talk about that in another video because I don't want this one to be too long but what I would say is that if you are thinking about changing course or anything like that don't go through it alone find someone you can talk to whether it's your personal tutor or a lecturer or um, universities often have uh, kind of either counsellors or a support team or something like that. Warwick in particular has like the student support centre which used to be based in um, University House. I'm not sure if it's still there now, I'm sure it will be. There's also people like the SABs at Warwick, the welfare officer will probably be a great person to talk to. But don't just go through it alone and don't feel like you're letting anyone down if you do want to change course. Because I said it before, but I'll keep saying it. I'm a big believer that when you're unhappy, you have the power and the right to just do whatever it is you can do to make yourself happy. You shouldn't have to just sit there and suffer. Um, so I'm a big believer in you know, making sure you do what's right for you and if that means changing course, if that means changing university, I think you should go for it and do it and feel happy and proud that you're in control of your future and you're taking control and I think that's a really amazing thing. So sorry if this video was a bit long and rambly but hopefully it'll have helped save you guys out. If you have any more questions about university in general, going to Warwick Uni, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But for now, thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it and I'll see you again soon.
Thank you.